Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to solve trigonometric and circular function word problems. While these are two different things, we have trigonometric function word problems and circular function word problems, they're both in a bit, um, a bit of a way related because for the unit circle, we know that x squared plus y squared equals 1 in the unit circle. And when we look at trigonometric functions, we have the trigonometric identity that sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So you can see um, the relationship there. A lot of different word problems um, that have trigonometric functions are things like a Coast Guard is lost at sea, um, or a flagpole and its shadow. Let's look at the flagpole and its shadow one. That's fun. So let's say that this flagpole is 18 feet tall. And let's say that it casts a shadow, right? There's a shadow of the flagpole, which let's say is 24 feet long. And you want to calculate um, this angle, right? Um, that is made, right, from the shadow. Well, this is a 90 degree angle, right, from the flagpole to the ground. So you can find the sine of this angle, right? And we know that sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Now, we can use the Pythagorean theorem um, to find this third length, or we can just know that this is a 3, 4, 5 special right triangle. This is because a lot of triangles are just 3, 4, and 5 for the hypotenuse, but they are just disguised. You just have to multiply by something. So I notice right away that this is 3 times 6, where this is 4 times 6. This, this is just going to be 5 times 6 because it's always 3, 4, and 5 multiplied by a certain number. So 5 times 6 is 30, and then we don't have to do the whole Pythagorean theorem out every time. So this is 30. So we want to find the sine, once again, of this angle. So it's going to be 18 over 30, and we take the sine of that, and that will give us the measure of this angle. So that's a fun word problem, right? If we want to find the angle, right, of the shadow of the flagpole, that's something you can do. Um, you can also find the sine to find, you know, the third measure, um, something like that, if you do a missing piece that way. Different things like that, um, and the same with circles as well, using the unit circle and different circle, circular functions to find the circumference of the circle or the area of the circle, um, using 2 pi r for the circumference and pi r squared for the area. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with us today.